Uh, How you feel about that Baker Mayfield statue, Big E? What statue? He got a statue of Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield. See, <laughs> see, see me the only person to know oh, about this statue. Yeah. <laughs> and then nobody cared about hey, you. Hey, and it's going to come to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> so what, they can throw it in the river? <laughs> <laughs> they sent one email out and it went to CB. <laughs> exactly. How is you on Oklahoma email list, bro? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Baker Mayfield got a statue, but he can't get on the team. Exactly. Man, they, exactly. I saw Johnny Manziel yeah. and them in the USFL. You, 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 Johnny Mazel throw a touchdown to T.O. I said, uh, Baker, <laughs> Baker, <laughs> Baker on his way, man. <laughs> on the spot. USFL popping. Somebody gonna be looking for him. So Baker, he in good hands, man. He in a good space. Going on, fellas. Man, just chilling, man. I wanted to see that your guys get a chance to check into the the latest NBA and the fan, the crazy fanatics, man, hitting the floor, doing all this crazy stuff. They wild, man. Not only from the NBA, but to the to the MLB too, right, man. Bro, but I don't know what is going on right now with that. Crazy times, man. I was telling wifey like we may need to enact some laws, man. That's going to do more to protect fans. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the minute they run up in a stance and something happens, an altercation breaks out, it's easy for the heckler to play victim. Mm -hmm. And they're the one creating the chaos. And so I don't know about the policies. I don't know about the behavior that they're supposed to display at these public events. But I think, man, before something egregious happens, Mm -hmm. It need to be real then, guys. Which one caught you most, man? You see the one with the Celtics? You see the one with... Uh, the lady gluing herself to the floor, the floor was the weird one. Like, And then, like, these people, they don't have no backstory. They not saying, well, this is my cause. This is what I'm doing mm-hmm. it for. I'm championing it. Like, it's none of that. That, that. that runs me crazy. And then the next thing is, it's only going to be so long before somebody really gets hurt. That's fact. Whether it's a tackle... Somebody out there tackling a player, tackling one of these fans or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just getting... That's facts, Crazy. And it's putting people's safety at, in, at risk. And that's the biggest thing, man. The biggest safety and concern risk that that causes, bro. Because now, is it safe to go to a game? Right. What, you know, this is a world where we want to top what the next person <laughs> exactly. or the last person did. Exactly. So I'm coming to the game and now you got a fan that wanted to outdo. It used to just be holding up the signs. See, could you get on TV? Or like you saying, like, like on the outdoing thing, but... Now is how can I outdo that heckler? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And back in the day, bro, they used to give them TV coverage. They would show your face. They would do all of that stuff. Nowadays, they don't even show your face. If somebody run onto the field or do something crazy, mm-hmm. they take the camera away. They try not yeah. to publicize or give you your 15 minutes of fame for doing yeah. something. Yeah, I saw crazy somebody in heckling uh, Kyrie. And we're going to get into the Celtics in a minute because they, they deserve some of what they're getting. But uh, but uh, a fan was just doing like this. He was making this motion to yeah. Kyrie. But in real, real, or it might have been Steph Curry. But they was in close proximity doing it. And, and you mentioned that last episode, bro, about just how close – Range at least the NBA, the NBA they, on, yeah, they, they can they, touch they on you. They, they, they yeah. like in arm's reach, yeah. and so yeah. you got to really hope you all the way on point and grounded at that point in time that you don't have a just a, a, a hasty reaction and you do something in a moment. You strike a fan, right? You know what I'm saying? That's trolling, that's 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 heckling and doing all that because again, man, I don't know if the I don't know if the laws is in our favor at this point in time. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Do you, as an athlete, do you go into this? Like, CB, this is something for you. If, as an athlete, bro, do you go into the game thinking about, bro, this heckler doing too much? Or is this going to be the game where they all on my back? Are they going to be talking crazy? Or I think when we played the game, we didn't think that way. Mm-mm. But now I think players think that way now. Mm-hmm. They listen for it. They listen for it because – it's just the aggression of the verbal abuse, bro. It's it's out of hand, bro. It's out of line. It shouldn't be happening. And it's going and, and I'm afraid it's gonna be a part two of what happened in Detroit Man. with Ron Artest and all those guys. Because you gonna say something wrong to the wrong guy, man, and he's just gonna explode, bro. Mm-hmm. It just it's 
the bravery of what they're saying. No, nah, they ain't even brave, man. 99% are yeah. cowards, man. I say this all the time, man. The internet has made people get way too comfortable yeah, disrespecting people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, they, they, they cowards. And then the reason why 99% are cowards, because they then play the victim if you respond. If you exactly. ever respond to a troll in the comments, right. mm-hmm. they cry. Mm-hmm. If you ever... You took it too far. Yup. If yeah. you ever respond, like Mike sure. Tyson's situation... Same, they, another one. They, another one. They cry. They play coward. So yeah. they ninety nine percent of them are cowards doing this, sure. and so mm-hmm. so that I had to learn that lesson. I'm looking like, oh, I thought y'all can give it. I thought y'all can take it. Oh, uh, no. And then when you try to give it back, they don't want the smoke. N- they don't want no smoke, man. And so I just gave up on engaging in it because that's a lot of unnecessary energy that takes you off of your square from what you're trying to accomplish. And I think athletes got to do the same thing. I remember when CB them played, when he was at Ferris, and they played Grand Valley. F-U-C-B. Yeah, and they was... Yeah, I remember was, that too, bro. They was going ham. I couldn't believe it. They singled you out. <laughs> <laughs> or they did. But, but, but that was still a level that's... Bro, that's fandom, you, though. Yeah, like, that, that's true I mean, fandom. Oh, yeah, that's the student miss, section the student crunk. Section, you, yeah. Nobody ain't calling him a B, a mm-hmm. N word, or or talking about his kids, his mm-hmm. wife. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They today they they doing too much. Is there a solution, y'all think, for these people like running on the court and you know what I'm saying? Is it like 30 day jail time? Do y'all recommend ban? Uh, yeah, the you, lifetime you ban. You gotta go. From all man. sports events. Yeah, from man. From, <laughs> I'm 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 tempted to say, I'm tempted to say ban. I'm tempted to say uh, 90 days in jail. Yeah. I'm talking about no get out so, on good so service. So deterring them from doing 90 it. 90 days in jail and fire from your job. Like contact your employer mm-hmm. and say this is how, this is person representing your company. This is how they yeah. acting. Yeah. Personal conduct policy. You know saying? Outside of work. Yeah. I'm saying do, do <laughs> have them three things as a standard just yeah. till we get some some concrete things in place. Bro, I love that. I like that. The 90 days, I'm more of the 30 day thing, man. But yeah. that'll that'll stop nah, some people sit from them, doing Sit them something. jokers down for got months. You got to set the tone. Definitely yeah. got to set the tone. But like, but nothing is happening. You know, yeah, it's it got to be some type of. And that's unfortunate. Like CB said, nothing is happening. So they're waiting for. To do it again. No, but they're waiting for the athlete to have an outburst or a meltdown. Yeah. Then something going to happen. Gotcha. And I'm telling you, we're going to be in the wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be the one that get the charge or get the assault or get sued mm-hmm. versus them. You know what I'm saying? And so they're waiting. Like they could and be building and building and building. Exactly. They could be acting now. And you know nobody saying? is saying, like we talked about this, but nobody is saying. Because it's so, such a social media world, everybody got their cameras out. Like the Mike Tyson thing, mm-hmm. when my man was being disrespectful with Tyson, somebody recording it, mm-hmm. and he laughing, but nobody's not interfering. Though, <laughs> Nobody bro. stepped in and Nobody intervened. Been like, chill, man, it's Tyson, bro. That's what I'm thinking. Tyson, though. man, come sit up here, bro. I, I'm going to sit right here, Tyson. Hey, you know bro, I mean? leave Mike alone. Bro. Yeah, like, chill, chill, dude. If you talk in that language, the, the receptionist, somebody going to come see about that. Exactly. Like, bro, you got to chill. Like, bro, <laughs> before Mike tear this whole plane up, exactly. <laughs> and you got to chill. And then the guy got a lawyer and basically said he is he's Mike Tyson's biggest fan. No, you're so not. So you see how they reverse him. Yeah. They cowards, yeah. I told you. 99% is cowards. Come on. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just the unfortunate piece of the, the troll, this troll culture, this hate culture that has been birthed through social media, man. And I think, like, to E-Point, man, the airline staff got to be on it. Yes. Y'all got to y- get in there before he tears his plane exactly. up. Exactly. That, that happened. That was way too long for a flight attendant not to come. And this is Mike Tyson, bro. This is actually yeah. a celebrity. Actually, it's, somebody that's well off with money and need to be protected. Like I, I couldn't believe come it. Come on, man. Come you know on. what I'm saying? So they complicit, too. Yeah, for sure. Haul ass mm-hmm. and get over here and so, that, yeah. so don't nothing go So down. Mike, don't tear the plane you know up. Saying? Because he going to get a lawsuit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, bro. Exactly. They got to be thinking like that. Man. Facts. But since we on NBA, man, has anything caught your eye like what to play? The Celtics. <laughs> the Celtics getting off yeah. in uh, the nest. <laughs> man, what? Yeah, bro. Man, let me say this about KD because I love KD. I think he the next in line after LeBron in terms of passing a torch. But KD, how he been looking in this series to me, bro, like he never has come under the scrutiny of like the stuff LeBron go yes. through. You know what I'm saying? But if him... It's on him now. It's on him. He feel all that way. It's all about that to be on him. I, but I see it when I'm watching a game. Yeah. I'm looking like, man. He don't play as free, bro. Nope. It, it's not the same. It's not the same. I'm telling you. And that matchup, uh, I'm talking about just the Celtics. I'm talking about all their players yep. being able to match up, switch. No matter who you get 
on the on the pick mm-hmm. and roll, that person can guard you, defend you, be more physical than you, outwork you, out hustle you, bro. It's affecting this game, and and at the end of the day, they they're resulting in losses. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm Down three zero. I never would have thought. And man, you Katie and Kyrie you, would you lose couldn't, three games you in the, the playoffs to nobody. To nobody. Exactly. And, and yeah, and and I think a star is being born in Jason Tatum. See the thing that that's that's they happening. Superstar. Now. Yes. Yeah. And I and I and, He's stepping and, in KD's and it's been spot. a long time coming. Right. <laughs> He's He's stepping in KD's, KD's spot, spot right what? now, bro. I think uh, Tatum. He been getting overshadowed by Nets being down 0-3. Kyrie getting heckled by the fans. Mm-hmm. Dog been balling. He been balling. Dog been oh. balling, making big shots, making timely shots, timely plays on defense and offense. And I think that's getting overlooked. I think the real basketball heads see it. But I'm saying he ain't even making the news how he should be making the news yeah, for, sure. for all these other antics. But also, man. I would throw this on KD, man. I think uh, this season, man, is weighing on him. The vaccination with Kyrie, only playing a handful of games. Mm-hmm. James Harden being there, they're not want to be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this like, been a bro, long it's a year. lot. It's been a long <laughs> it's been year. A long year. Because like man, three zero, I can't wait to get this over with. Yeah, man, I do think his 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 battery running low, man. Yeah. I think he running on fumes, and it's the wrong time. He need to get lucky and get through this series. And maybe catch his second win. And also, bro, do y'all think Steve Nash is a good coach? I don't never see him nah. saying nothing. I don't see him he, like he checking in, bro. call this play, that play, this defense, like I'm, nothing. I'm bro. watching it, bro. Right now, Celtics, you know, they got some stars on there. They playing hunger, they playing gritty. They whole starting five could play good D. Mm-hmm. And and but the coach is doing a great job, bro, by having them. Um, from a defensive standpoint, picking up, they like you said, switching, in. locked in, bro, they getting loose in. balls, chasing after loose balls, diving, hustling. You know what I mean? A lot of that is is will, but it's also coaching. Mm-hmm. And they making adjustments too, bro. Nasm, he don't do a great job of making adjustments, bro. One oh. thing, E, you said this years ago, but it's true now. Steve Kerr ushered in an era of a coach inheriting a good team, but they won. He uh, he took it to the next level, bro. Mark Jackson started a good thing. Yep. Steve Kerr's like, I'm going to take it a step above. Yeah, but yeah. then Steve Nash got an opportunity the to dude. be like Steve Kerr. And when you don't win, like CB said, we ain't even seen him make not one adjustment. Exactly. Yeah, bro. You know so what I'm saying? It's kind of disappointing to see that, man. But also, in the beginning of the season, Ky- KD and Kyrie was like, man, we ain't even going to need no coach. One night, I'm going to coach the team. One night, KD can like. They was already throwing Nash under the bus <laughs> before he even became the coach. So See, you said this, bro, but this is one hundred. It was about LeBron. You was talking LeBron being the GM yeah. as a player. KD and Kyrie trying to be the coach as a player. Guys, coaches coach, mm-hmm. players play. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The fish got to be the fish, and the old man got to be the old man, and that's for a reason, bro. Mm-hmm. Do not try to. Yeah, if you worried about co- if you the player and you worried about coaching, you're not doing your job. Exactly, like, man. And what am I doing? If you the player, you worried about coaching? I'm just sitting. <laughs> I'm sitting on the sideline, not doing nothing. Everybody stay in your lane yeah. and do your job. You know what I'm saying? The Patriots way. That is so true. It resonated across everything, man. What other games, I don't man, know, bro? But to rewind that though, so those guys are big personalities, superstars, Hall of Famers, KD. So this this where I, sh- I so. Where do we lose it at? Like, because Nash was a dog, too. Yeah, Nash was a beast. So, from that point, he should get the respect. But then again, he don't have the coaching experience, right? hmm So, that's where they lost it at, bro? Is it more of a that situation? Like, man. I think it could be. But if you respect the game and basketball, like y'all say, y'all do, I love this game. And this is all I think about, Bree, all that. Steve Nash got two MVPs, bro. Yeah. KD got one. Kyrie has none. Like, yeah. at least I got two regular season MVPs. Y'all can listen to me from there. Yeah. I played for Dan Tony, one of the most prolific offenses. Like, all of that stuff. So, I got some good stuff to share. Yeah. If y'all want to listen, though. I think Nash, I don't think it's all on him, whether he making adjustments or not. It's not all on him. To, like, Kyrie only playing half of the season. That hurts. That hurts, When, hurt, you, when you lose a box right. office player like mm-hmm. that. Then, the, then KD loads get to be too much. Yeah. Now, he... And now he born out for the playoffs. Yeah. Then whatever discord and dysfunction that was going on with James Harden, that drove him out. Th- that that takes away from the team. All of this ain't on Nash. It just was a lot of stuff going on for it to be year two. I think of their run, 
And it's like, man. Year three, they've been there, but year two for KD healthy. For KD being healthy, right. And so, again, I think the respect is there for Nash, but like with anything, if you're not winning, Mm -hmm. all of that stuff dwindled down, man. You ain't going to be looked at the same, revered the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You lose a little bit of that lust when you're taking losses. And so, I think that's at play, too. That's crazy, bro. But they are saying this is Nash. This is it, probably. Mm-hmm. That, and that ain't for just them only, man. It's for the like across the NBA, Phoenix Suns as well, bro. Like they, I think they series is two two right now with the Pelicans. Mm-hmm. Like, what are y'all doing? They lost my man. He oh, oh, D book. Yeah, yeah ham- that's a big his piece. hamstrings always hurt too, man. Yeah. Injuries and untimely injuries, especially bro. in the playoffs, bro. It's young, either his it's the young or guns, C3. bro. You think about it though. It's the young guns. Yeah, Memphis, they show, them, bro. Uh, Memphis and Minnesota. But I'm just saying, look at it. Tatum. You know what I mean? Memphis Brown. squad. Yep. And then my man from um, the Pelicans. Um, Bi. Yeah. Yep. And Ingram, CJ bro. McCollum there too. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, when I was looking at the game though, bro, like it wasn't a lot of superstars. It was a lot of regular dudes you see at the Y <laughs> and dudes that you see for the Grampus Drive. Like, like everybody could be on the two way. Everybody could be on the two way. Exactly, E. I'm looking like, man, you take out Chris Paul, you take out Steph Curry, you take out KD and Kyrie. Like, it's a whole bunch of up and coming, but they ain't arrived yet. And so, man. I know it, it, it was it was crazy to see that. Like, man, these these they looking like some regular Joes out here. Man, I'm pool, bro. From pool? Michigan? That yeah. Pool? Yes. I'm happy for that dude. Bro. Yeah, Jordan Poole. He been Jordan going Poole. crazy. He been balling, bro. They bringing Steph off the bench. Like, that's how y'all know yeah. he going nuts. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been a lot of, like I say, I, I'm encouraged by it. Mm-hmm. But that's that showed me the power of having to build up. Yo, players to make them become household names. And with Golden State, CB, like you said, Steve, or you was talking about Steve Kerr. Mm-hmm. They just adding on to what they got going mm-hmm. over there. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Let me let me twist it a little bit, man. I gotta talk about Kevin Bryan. Uh-oh, What's God. up with nephew, Uh-oh. man? Uh oh, he get what he give us this week. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna give us up every week. <laughs> so, bro, he had on um last I'm gonna say Friday. Friday last Friday he had his first track meet. It was at the ski. So, no, it was third. Was it Friday or Thursday? I'm going to say Thursday. One of those days, bro. It was at the ski, man. And some reason I didn't go out. I think I was just super exhausted that day. And it was just a lot of stuff. The, the, the little ones had practice. He got this track me. It's way down there. You know, track me to be long. So, I said, I'm going to blow this one off, bro. Mm-hmm. So... I text him, hey man, proud of you, good luck, dad, love you. I can't make, you know, mm-hmm. can't make it, whatever. So, all right, dad, don't worry about it. No, you gotta worry about the kids. Cool. So around six o'clock, no, around five, he texts me, uh, dad, I pulled my hamstring. I'm done for the day. <laughs> now what time was your text to him? <laughs> right. So this text is like four. <laughs> so like, an hour later. Yeah, hour. And warm up, see, boot. So I'm like. I'm instantly hot. So, number one, I'm happy I wasn't there. Oh, because you would have been hot. Trip. I would have been hot. I would have let him have it. <laughs> would have did too much. Number two, I'm happy I didn't text right there. Like, text oh, him yeah, right back. Get yourself a minute. Cool so, off. bro, first time, bro, I gave myself like 24, 36 hours, bro. I didn't respond right away. Yeah. You know, I took some time. Yeah, thought about it. Thought about it, bro. Gave me an encouraging message. Like, man, don't worry about it. I know you frustrated, man, but we going to come back. Some yeah. encouraging words, bro. So I was like, man, you know, I'm going to try this new strategy, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go in because he's the kids used to me going all in. <laughs> so, I, you know what? That, that, that ain't that, working. So that, ain't, it up. <laughs> that ain't working. <laughs> Let's remix this. <laughs> right. So I picked him up. So he talking about the track me, whatever he said he pulled it uh doing a uh, long jump. So he did the hundred, and then he did a long jump, he pulled it then. So he talking about the track me, you know what I mean, talking about the events, talking about other people. But I'm really wanna hear that like him talking about the pull. The pull and why did I pull it? Yeah. And he didn't he didn't talk about those things. Of course not, you know. Of course he's not <laughs> gonna say, you know, 
<laughs> I've been mean, getting up late. I ain't been stretching. Yeah, I ain't been no fruit. None. I ain't not been stretching. Nothing, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, man, you know how y'all did. So yeah. I'm playing around. I ain't even talking about it, bro. Yeah. So the next day or later that night, you know, he talking about it again. I just say, hey, man, you know, you gonna probably have to take a week or two off, you know. So the next day was Friday. I text his trainer. He said it's a level one or a level two. So he said probably a week, a week or two. So he just said, make sure Kevin elevated, stretch it, ice it, do all those things. So I'm talking to him about those things. Make sure you do it, whatever. And he and he talking about, yeah, dad, you know, I woke up, man. Dad, it's feeling good, man. I probably could run on Wednesday. <laughs> so he's saying all the wrong stuff. <laughs> So I gave him like 36 hours, bro. He still ain't coming with the right he, stuff. He ain't coming with the right stuff, bro. He ain't coming with like that, man. I got to do a better job of stretching. And, you know, I got to take my, my warm up. And so it was crazy. I looked on my LinkedIn, Lorenzo Guest, bro, mm -hmm. MSU. He was doing a speaking engagement at a coaching clinic. And I just happily look on my phone, bro, and it's talk about the body is the temple. Mm. And it talks about how important sleep and nutrition and yep. rest and all those things. Yeah. And I was like, Kevin, look at this, man. Look what that say. So, you know. That was your way to hit him with another was, different, okay. But that was it. That's I was going to see what he was going to say out of that. And he give me nothing. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, later that day or something like that. And so I was like, hey, man, remember earlier this year? I said, I said, look at this. You got to look at this, bro. I said, since you got here, look at the games you missed and the events you missed because your hamstring. Your hamstring. I said, football is your groin. Your groin, your hip. Your yeah. Hamstring. I said, me and your bodies, bro, we're naturally tight, bro. Like, that's just how God made us. I said, you're more stiffer than I was mm -hmm. because you can't even, t he can't even touch his toes, bro. Yeah. I could touch my toes right now, bro. Mm -hmm. Not for real. I could touch my toes. He can't touch it. So I'm like, bro, I said, you like a rubber band, bro. Like, literally. That won't stretch, though. Yeah. That tight one. That tight, <laughs> tight one. Tight. <laughs> so I said this. I know stretching is- It ain't fun. It bro. ain't fun, bro. It's boring, man. We don't, you know. But I said, for you, you have to stretch. I said, guess what, bro? It's guys that wish they was 6'3", six, 6'5", six, had speed, had this, had that. All you got to do is stretch, bro. Mm -hmm. CMU told you, you just got to be more flexible. College is saying that. Northern Michigan coach just said the same thing with CMU saying. I've been saying it, and you don't stretch. You don't get to sleep. You know what I mean? You drink your water. You know what I mean? Nutrition-wise. But it all works together. It's it, all exactly. one thing, bro. It's so... I, so, bro, I did this the last couple of nights, bro. I just started stretching at nighttime. He ain't going to come down there. So, I'm stretching on myself. Yeah. But I know he ain't he ain't stretching. Yeah. But I was just saying, bro, the way my body feel the next day. It's amazing, right? And I'm not stretching long like that, but I'm stretching. Like, I know my man David, David Goggins said he stretched two or three hours a night. Mm. So, look, bro, this is the... And and my body is like that. It's like tight and stuff like that. I got to stretch, bro. And it's like, I'll be moving all sore and stuff like that. So, bro, I stretched last night. I worked out this morning. I didn't even have to stretch. I was ready mm -hmm. mm. to work out, bro. First time I ever happened. So I was like, man, I wish I'd been doing this when I was younger, dude. Like, I was mad. <laughs> and I was telling my son that, like, bro, I'm there. That's what I'm giving you. I'm giving you the game right now. Giving so you, you to it. Start this early. And I guarantee you, I can ask him, bro. He ain't stretched. What, what are some things you did outside of what your trainer had you doing? What are you doing? You know what I mean? So it just, it's just one of those things, man. You know what I mean? With that piece, you know, with the, the whole hammy. So CB, as a father, bro, how, how do it feel when you are looking for a response that you never, never get? <sighs> I just... So he don't give me no excuses. He going my son, he going to throw some little stuff in there though. Mm -hmm. He going to say some little points and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. But like I said, bro, I was a different dad the 24 hours though. Mm -hmm. How was the track me? Oh, mm -hmm. straight man. You know how how did y'all do? How yeah. y'all look against Muskegon? Dad, Muskegon all they players did jack. They built like me. You know what I mean? We all jack. You got a couple might be a little bigger, but they all like this. You know what I mean? Ain't no Cat out there that's mm -hmm. flat. From a competitive standpoint, bro, I be wanting to switch that. Like, compared to him, like, you think them cats, you think they stretching? 
Like, I want to say those things, but I ain't even go for it on the 24 hours. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to give myself that, bro. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I'm going to give myself that. So he the type, he know that I'm right, bro, because mm-hmm. he listen. And I was like, am I right, bro? Yeah, dad. But he already know it, bro. Put it into action, though. No, nope, he ain't. That's the one thing that he missing. I already yeah. know, bro. Yeah. And you trying to give him that with the 24, yeah. 36 hours. Like, <laughs> yo, it'd be good if you started stretching on your own already. I showed you the body is the temple. Exactly. Check it out, bro. Like, you know what? Let me go listen to my man. Exactly. You got YouTube. You got your phone. I ain't listening to NBA Young Boy tonight. I'm going to put yeah. on Lorenzo Guest with the stretch, and I'm going to check that out, bro. Body is my like Stretching. E, like, for you, bro, how do you handle a situation when your sons don't give you the response bro, you're looking for? I try not to forecast nothing, bro. I try mm-hmm. to drop some gems on them, and they do with it what they do with it. <clears throat> but like CB saying, bro, like you can't make them do nothing. You get what I'm saying? You could just try to highlight some areas for them to, you know what? Dang, maybe that that makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Do do feelings of disappointment come over you? And this for CB too, or is it like a frustration, or is it just a like a how we were with the I can't want it more than you want it? It's still I can't want it more than you. So. It, that tapers my frustration. Mm-hmm. Um, if I didn't told you something a million times, if I didn't gave you the game, at some point I'm gonna just get tired of it, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, since you don't want to hear me, you get what I'm saying. You can get better results or whatever you're doing. Go for it. I'm gonna be here to support you, but I'm tapering my stuff down. Like. So, what would be one thing that you guys <clears throat> see get their best response? Okay, like if CB is a consistent voice, if you a consistent voice. Is it like when a coach say it or if it's a girl that say it or is it somebody, does it have to come from a certain person or a certain voice for them to get the reaction or the response you're looking for? Or is it like, it's just a 50-50? I think I could prepare you for the situation, bro. And and if my words that I prepared you for don't help you out and it's the same thing I was telling you, and it's like, bro, see, I was trying to tell you that. I was trying to protect you from that. Mm-hmm. Listen, right? Like, come on, bro, the whole line, I've been you before you ain't been me. Right. Mm-hmm. I try to keep that on their head, you know what I'm saying, yeah. just to keep them informed. But, bro, like, the, all the being disappointed, I try not to get disappointed with them because they ain't doing nothing but disappointing. They ain't getting in trouble. They ain't right. cussing at nobody. Yeah. They ain't going to jail. They ain't. Yeah. So it ain't nothing to be disappointed in, bro, for mm-hmm. real. But, like. Come on, bro. Exactly. <laughs> It'd be some of that. <laughs> like, come on, bro. <laughs> I think my son, because he's so, he hard-headed, like my dad said about me, boy, your head is hard. You don't know everything. Mm-hmm. He going to have to, like, Lord's willing, you know, he, if he go to college next year, if it's playing football or whatever it is, he just going to college in general. You know what I mean? He going to hit his head in that situation. Mm-hmm. Like, so he going to have to get out of it himself because, you know, we've been saying these things, you know what I mean? I've been saying it, you know, probably some coaches been saying it. So he going to have to go through that process himself. Another thing I'm going to flip with him, though. So it was it was Thursday toward, he uh, pulled his hamstring. So Friday we had a half a day, but I wasn't feeling well Friday. So so Friday, this was our plan was, you know, he get treatment. They got after school, they got track from 11 to 1, but he's going to get treated and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And then we was going to go to man's warehouse so we get the prom. Oh, yeah, get stuff. stuff for prom. So he texts me, Dad, after school, can I go to this girl house with Zahari? <laughs> and it's, so it's like a couple thing. They want to do this couple thing, right? So I'm like, huh? I'm like, bro, after school, you got, I thought you got track practice. You know what I mean? Like, got to get you fitted, too. <laughs> Dad, um, you know, I was planning to go to practice anyways. You know, this is... This is like after practice, Dad. I could I could get my suit fit at any time, Dad. We go during the weekends. What happened to the hamstring? Yep. Forgot bro. everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then I was like, nah, bro. We got to get fitted today. Dad, you killing me with the head and emoji like this. <laughs> so, we know. Bro, we been you, bro. Exactly. Like, I been you. I was like, I'm straight. <laughs> I could go get fitted anytime. <laughs> So I was I'm like, man, good. look at this dude, man. Like, come on, bro. I know the game. You my son, dude. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Do whatever tickle y'all. Like, when y'all <laughs> see that, like, like, man, this was me. 
Is bro, it? but they don't believe it. I'm Lil E, bro, the nah. same. Because there was a point in time I used to be shy and I ain't come out my shell, all that little yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. He right there, but bro, you 18. I'm like, bro, ain't no more time for that shot. It's time. <laughs> time is now, right? You know what I'm saying, yeah. though? Like, he don't want to believe me, though. Yeah. Same with the prom stuff. I'm like, bro, go ahead, lock that in. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about, though. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So <laughs> now you got to deal with <laughs> the situation. You're not having no prom dater. Because I know that's not what you wanted. That's exactly. why I was trying to prepare you. But I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just take that advice, bro. It's funny, E. You ain't jump off the porch and come out your shell to like your junior. 16, bro. About 16. Yeah. But you he, two years He, he two years beyond you. Yeah. He might be 22. I ain't not, but <laughs> at some point, we got to come out of it. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. It's the best time right now. So I was but like... I, I well, will give him props for this, though, bro. He got his little L's a couple weeks ago. Hey, congrats, bro. Nephew. I ain't had my car since. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad, can I drive? Hey, Dad, can I go to Grand Haven? I ain't driving. I'm just going with my peoples. Hey, Dad, can I go to the hey, track? Me, Dad, up. can I go get ice cream? Like, so he's he been, been on it. Yeah, he out here. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm outside. That's what's up. <laughs> but E, speaking about coming out of your shell, bro, was it was it anything that helped you come out of your shell? Peer pressure. Bro, peer pressure. Like I remember, you told me that. So for me, it was the I ain't want to be the the dude that was just always getting heckled because I was cooler than them than the other mm-hmm. cats. You know yeah. what I mean? That was off the porch. <laughs> they they just that was that's all they had on me. So yeah. they jumped on my head. I'm like, man, let me go on ahead, and, which is the worst thing to do, bro. I wasn't my decision. It was more mm-hmm. now shut up. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so that's the one factor I see in the inner city. That's what we do. Correct. But where he go to school at, that ain't the culture. Bro, uh, he getting away with he it. He getting away with it. <laughs> I used to be looking at my what? son like he'd be playing horrible. And I used to be like, man, they about to roast him when he get to the cafeteria. Man, it ain't that. It ain't that. Nope. And so right. it allowed his poor play to continue his whole four years. I'm looking like- Because I never, he cooler than the cats. <laughs> exactly. But I'm looking like, man, I could never yep. have a whack game and then not hear about it. In the lunchroom. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, we had so, that over, like... So, little nephew, didn't, his peer pressure never came. Nope. Not in that. No, little ants heard. never came because this generation, they don't even vibe like that. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't that peer pressure. It's more or less... <laughs> it's more or less you going... Like you said, I'm still cooler than... Yeah, than, bro. That's what it was, though. Like, I ain't... That's just what it was. They had that on me. They jumped off the porch. I'm like, man, all right. Yeah, they used to be on you. All right, It was bro. on me, too, man. All that's right, how bro. the city was. Yeah, exactly. City was like that, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? CB, what helped up, you bro? come out of your shell, bro? Peer pressure. Same, Same thing. thing. got GC. you. Got me. Dave Vance, you got you. Yeah, all that. <laughs> all that. Every time I go to y'all, GC used to be on me. Dave Vance, yeah. all that, bro. You get tired of hearing that. Yeah, you do. And you know we competitors as exactly. athletes. That's what it is. Hot, <laughs> hot to Molly. Yep. On fire. The fire emoji. Yep. That was me. The fire emoji. Every time we go there. <laughs> that was me. The fire yep. emoji. And that's how I was. Yep. Yep. Like okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what nephew missing, bro. Like mm-hmm. now that yeah. now that we talked about it openly, I'm yep. like that's the only thing he don't got happen because it's coming from Unc. It ain't gonna hit. If it was Gus doing it or his peers in his class. Mm-hmm. But also, I don't want to be that dad, bro. Jump off the porch. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. We ain't like, advo- he ain't advocating it. <laughs> yeah. It just was know, it just bro. was our culture though. It yeah, was just yeah, the that's energy. How we grew up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Half of that's cause it wasn't no dads around. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. everybody talking crazy. <laughs> and then my son, bro, he like he he off the porch, but he ain't like that. Yeah. But he's off of it though. Yeah. So so I was like, bro, you my son. I already know what you on, bro. He like, like, dad, I ain't even on that. I'm like, dude. Shut <laughs> up. In the text message. First of all, you ain't even piecing it together. You know how I am. Like, you didn't even word this right. Like, dad, hey, uh, after track practice and once I get my hamstring stretched and stuff like that. He blew all that off. Can, can I go I over say, there? I'm looking like, like you didn't play it smooth. You, you forgot about everything. <laughs> That's why I know that. The third thing is on, on a whole nother level. You just yep. forgot about everything. You just pulled your hand, you bro. You just injured yesterday. Yeah, Thursday, we got to have day on yes. Friday. That was, that was 24 hours That's ago. what I'm saying. DB said he you put his hand to and get five. Yeah. <laughs> like, my dad ain't said nothing about the heavy. He giving me grace. I'm out here. 
<laughs> so I'm like, dude, this dude, man. And, and you know, so it was just funny to, to hear that. Yep. And I was like, yeah, bro, you ain't even piece it together. Thirst is real, bro. No, nah, what? <laughs> Have you forgetting everything? <laughs> he forgot he had a hammy. <laughs> <laughs> or forgot he told somebody that it was hurt. <laughs> he didn't even care no more. Exactly, man. Word, man. How you feel about that Baker Mayfield statue, Big E? What statue? He got a statue of Oklahoma. Baker Mayfield. See, <laughs> see, <laughs> see me the only person to know oh, about this statue. <laughs> And then nobody cared about hey, you. Hey, and it's gonna come to Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> so what, they can throw it in the river. <laughs> <laughs> they sent one email out and it went to CB. <laughs> exactly. How's you on Oklahoma email list, bro? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Baker Mayfield got a statue, but he can't get on the team. Exactly. Man, they, exactly. I saw Johnny Manziel yeah. them in the USFL. He, he, Johnny Manziel throw a touchdown to TO. I said, uh, Baker, <laughs> Baker, <laughs> Baker on his way. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot USFL popping Somebody gonna be looking for him So Baker He in good hands man He in a good space Yeah he got a statue bro But it was funny His uh, his guy that played at Oklahoma He said the statue looked like uh, The dude off Terminator TC2000 You look at him bro Look just like him dog But yeah man That's crazy, you know. that's crazy man Um, you wanna wrap up on that note? Yeah I think that's good bro Guys, thank you for joining us for another episode. We hope this talk was not only enriching, but hopefully it helped you get some insight just to the challenges of fatherhood and everything else, man. Till next time, we'll catch you in the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to join us on all platforms. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.